This is my second puzzle advent calendar video this year and today I will be solving boots and balls puzzle. If you still don't know what is puzzle advent calendar, it's a collaboration of puzzle designers and YouTubers. We bring you 24 new puzzles throughout the months of December in daily videos. Don't forget to subscribe to Puzzling Time since he will be presenting 19th puzzle advent calendar video tomorrow. And now back to boots and balls puzzle. This puzzle was designed and made by Nothing Yet Designs. It was made from acrylic. It has four layers of acrylic and the top layer is half transparent. It is frosted, but I wish it was uh, tra fully transparent so that I can, I can see everything what is happening inside nice and clear. The frame is not a usual one. There are cutouts here, but I think they are just uh, for the purpose of moving the parts inside. But the best part here is that there are four metal balls inside and they are moving. So this puzzle has moving restrictions. That means that in order to put a part inside, I have to move the balls and then put the piece. Then when I put another piece, I have to move the balls again. And at some point it will happen that I can put two or three parts inside and then I won't be able, able to move the balls and I won't be able to stick parts inside. So I have to figure out the correct solution, how to fit all six parts inside the frame. And there is a bonus challenge, which I'm gonna try to solve. Uh, you have to put all four board balls in one line. I have an idea that they will be somewhere in the middle, but I might be mistaken. So we will see it when I find the correct solution. If you like the boots and balls puzzle and you wanna buy it, it will be available at Nothing Yet Designs website. And if you want to see my attempt to solve the puzzle, keep watching the video. Okay, now I'll try to arrange the six parts on top of the frame. I'm not gonna pay attention on the balls now, since I just wanna see if I can fit all parts inside. And then I'm gonna deal with the rest. Let's see. That looks nice. This goes here. Oh, it looks, it fits like so, but then I can already see that one of the balls is totally blocked and I won't be able to solve it this way. So I have to figure out another solution. Okay, that looks quite interesting. If I will be able to squeeze all the balls. Oh, no, no, no. I already found my mistake. One of the balls will be totally blocked. Now I'm pretty sure that all balls will be in the middle line since the length of the pieces. If I put the piece here, the only spot where I can put the ball will be right here. That means that all of them will be in one line in the middle. So I have to keep that in mind that I want to keep all the balls right here. Okay, that looks like uh, a nice approach, but the balls won't be in one line. One will be here, another here. But let's see if it can work and if it can be a solution where the balls are not in one line. This goes here, then I can't, oh no. I think that the rest parts will be totally stuck and I can't remove them. Okay, let's keep looking. Oh, that looks very, very nice. Let's see, I can see that all the balls will be in one line. That's a good sign. I can remove this part. Then if I move this part up, the balls will stay here. I can remove it. Okay, I have to keep the correct order of parts so that I don't lose them. Then I can move this piece all the way up. This one goes to the right. This ball will go down and I can easily remove this part. And then I guess I can remove the rest of the parts. Okay, let's see if I will be able to put these three parts inside, I will be able to solve the puzzle. Ah, the cutouts are too small for my fingers so that I can easily move the parts. So the second one goes inside. Uh, I don't think I made it right now. Uh, yeah, I have to put the red piece first and then only then I can put the green one. Okay, let's see. So the red goes in. 
all the way here and up. Now this piece goes down. Hmm. It looks like rotation is involved here. Or maybe I can do it without the rotation. Let's see. Yeah, I guess it is possible without rotations. And then I slide it to the right. Oh, that's not easy to move the parts inside. And th then this piece goes in top left corner. Let's see. I think that my solution was, was correct. Let's see, only two parts left. This one goes to the top right corner. And the last piece goes in. Ta-da! And the puzzle is solved. All parts are inside and all balls are in one row. That was my attempt to solve the boots and balls puzzle. That's quite an interesting idea. I didn't see anything like this before. I like the restrictions that can be moved inside. That makes it quite a challenging puzzle. Even though I cut probably like 70 to 80% of the footage while editing the video to make it more interesting. Believe me, it was quite a challenge to figure out the solution. If you like the boots and balls puzzle, go to Nothing Yet Designs. Link will be in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to Puzzling Time since he will be presenting next Puzzle Advent Calendar video. Thank you for watching. See you next time.